right, YouTubes, let's talk meters for a minute. We love the lurkers. The raindrops. Just got done fixing a freezer. I'm back at the house. Um, it's Friday, Black Friday. Um, and it brought up some memories um, of a rainy day. My field piece meter died in the rain. And I want to talk about the importance of having a backup meter. And then I was digging through my toolbox, and I'll show you guys kind of the evolution. For you young guys out there, <clears throat> I know it's hard when it's expensive. But you got to have a backup meter in your somewhere in your arsenal. Even if it's a cheap one like this. This is a Subco. This is, this is a backup meter I had. And you can tell it looks brand new because it rarely gets used. And it does amps, volts. Uh, micro amps for checking your flame sensor temperature it does your ohms and your it'll do uh, your uh, micro ferrets so good little backup meter you gotta have it stashed somewhere on the truck for when your main meter goes down so a little bit of history I got the very first digital amp probe when they came out I think in 1989 or 1990 and I think all it did was amps and I think this came out soon after the Fluke 12 geared at HVAC. And it only did DC volts, AC volts, continuity, and ohms. That's all this meter did. Still works. Good meter. And you see it's got a little ding in there because I keep this one on my motorcycle now and it gets beat to hell um, when I'm going camping and stuff on my motorcycle. So you'd have this meter and you'd have your amp probe. They're separate meters. Um... And then this came out, the Fluke 16, another solid meter. It still works fine to this day. But what they came out with this was, this one came out. You got AC, DC bolts. And then it also, they threw the temperature in here with a, a piece that fits in here. Then the K-type thermal couple goes into. But at that time, the, the furnaces had flip, flipped over to uh, spark ignition from standing pilot. We had flame sensors, so this would this would read the microamps for your uh, furnaces, as well as your capacitors and temperature. And this was like the cat's meow right here, meow. Um, and then from here it was like they incorporated the uh, amp probe and the and the multimeter all together in something like this. But I think I had two field piece meters before I found this the UEI brand, and the field piece meters died every time it rained. And we were working in the rain. And I picked this up at RSD, the DL389 True RMS, probably in 2002. And it's still working fine to this day. Fired off. And the only reason I, I replaced this out of my arsenal since 2002, and we're in 2018, is because I saw the video Billy Knopf did for the DL429 a couple years back, and it had the Bluetooth feature. And I was thinking with the head coming off, let me pull the head off, with the head coming off and all the field piece probes that you can, uh, you know, the field piece heads you can clamp in, I would have Bluetooth to my phone. I thought that was cool. Temperatures, microns, all your deals on there. And I thought that was cool. And it had the inrush feature. And there's a couple other features on here that were not much difference than this meter but with the in russian stuff it was cool and this thing did man these the uei meters people think they're a cheap brand but i think they hold up compared to the the older version of the field piece meters i always thought they held up better but the importance of this is to have a backup on the van so i like to keep this on my van and it lives right here as a backup meter and then for reading amps and stuff just to have a backup amp one you guys could go out if you don't have a backup meter you could go out and get something like this this little subco cph 100 and it'll get you out of a pickle probably won't run it probably wouldn't want to run it as your everyday meter but if your meter dies you could go to the truck and grab it and have something to grab to check not a bad idea. I keep this one at the house in case my tools get ripped off. I have a whole backup tool bag in my garage in case my uh, tools get ripped off out in the field. So 
just thought I'd give you a heads up on that. Got to have a backup meter, guys. About the DL429 over the uh, the 389 was it has dual temperature pros. Um, I've actually I have the uh, the field piece micron head, and sometimes I'll stick it on there and run it, and then I can be chilling away from the vacuum pump and actually see the microns on my phone uh, through Bluetooth. That's kind of nice. It's probably not the best micron gauge, but it works. Um, but make sure you guys have a backup meter. Because you get a rainy day like today, your meter could die out there. Mine did back in the day, the old field piecers. Sometimes they would dry out and work again. Sometimes they wouldn't. The uh, I don't know about the DL429. I haven't used it in the rain a whole lot. This one I've used in the rain a ton. So we'll see. Here's some backup meters. As an appreciation for the 10,000 subscribers, one of you lucky guys or girls will win this UEI DL 429. It's brand new in the box. Um, I don't know if you want me to go over all the features again. You guys know it's it's wireless, so you can get it on your phone. It takes all the field piece heads, which sometimes I don't think we use the tools to their full potentials like we can. It's true RMS. Was it go up to uh, 600 volts cat 3 um, backlight inrush non-contact um, I love this meter oh yeah dual temperatures with differential so you don't need to buy a dual temperature if you have the DL429 it has it built in right there for you so do this um, the only people that can't win this meter is is the two guys that have won one before, which was, um, let's see, Rob HVAC, and then it was Chris back east, I think in New Jersey. Um, just to make it, there's no need for you guys to win two of these. So everyone else is eligible. I think that's fair. Um, leave, leave me a comment, follow the instructions, or you're DQ'd. I want to know what meter you're using right now. And if you have a backup meter, what meter it is. Um, leave that in the comments below. And Sunday, I will pick the winner before I go on live with Zach and Andrew on uh, Shop Talk. I'll be live with them on YouTube 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on Sunday. We'll do the giveaway on this, let's say, like, somewhere's around, like, 5 o'clock or so. I could probably do it. Hey, I could probably do live on my thing. I could try. We'll try. I'll fire up my laptop and see if I could do one of those picker things where it picks the numbers. So leave a comment, the meter you have, and if you have a backup meter or not, and what your backup meter is. All right, good luck. Like and subscribe.